This slide is a slide of skin, and it does include hair in this slide. The current magnification is 100x total magnification. Now what we're looking for are going to be the features of the skin as well as the features of the hair itself. So if we look, let's start off with seeing three individual hair and hair follicle structures. So in two of them, you can actually see the hair inside the hair follicle. This last one over here, you really can't see the hair, but it has a very nice view of the base or the bottom of where the hair starts to grow. So if we kind of zoom in on that, you can see how this lighter colored structure right here, this is called the hair papilla. Now, just surrounding the hair papilla, these dark colored cells, this is going to be the melanocytes. Now, the melanocytes are where the pigmentation is being created. This allows for the coloration of the hair. Surrounding that and going up along this area and coming down here, that is going to be the hair follicle. That is what will surround the hair as it's moving from this growing point up through the skin. So you have the hair papilla, the melanocytes surrounding it, then you have the hair follicle around the outside. Surrounding all this tissue, you see it kind of looks haphazard out here. This is all dense, irregular tissue. That means we're down in the dermis of the skin. If we move to a different hair follicle, you can see this one, for instance. Because it's cut in a different plane, you really can't see the hair papilla down here. But what you can see is the actual hair itself within the hair follicle. So we have the outer edges here and here being the hair follicle, and this is the actual strand of hair itself. You have these kind of reddish tinged cells inside. That is a portion of the medulla of the hair within the hair root. This is going to be a little bit of the actual cortex of the hair, this kind of yellowish brown on the outside. Now because of the angle that the slide was cut at, you kind of lose the hair itself right about here. But if you continue on, you can see the hair is found back up here. It comes back into the plane of cut. Now at this point, it's beyond the surface of the skin. We can see that we have some dead flaking skin up here. So this is part of the epidermis, the stratified squamos, that's flaking. And then you have this darker purple with multiple layers. This is going to be the living portion of the stratified squamos of the skin. So we're all in the epidermis up here, and this is now beyond the epidermis. What you can also see on this particular view is a portion right here and a portion right here of the sebaceous oil glands. Now, another slide shows a little bit better the sebaceous oil glands, but you can see a little tip right here to start with. Now the sebaceous oil glands will actually allow for secretion of the oil into the hair follicle and that can travel up the shaft to the surface of the skin. So this allows for the oil to reach the skin surface and cover and coat the skin. So if we zoom back out to kind of get a bigger view for a second, we can see the actual hair that's visible above the skin up here. We have the dead cell layers of the stratified squamos of the epidermis. We have the living layers of the stratified squamos of the epidermis. We have a lot of dermis down here, a lot of dense irregular. You can see the hair follicle on the outside edge here and here, with the hair itself within, that's the root of the hair. You have the medulla and cortex of the hair root, and then down here, Open up a little more. You can see the papilla with the melanocytes around it, 
and then the hair follicle on the outside of that. So we have a slide of skin with various hair follicles and hair roots visible.